This is the final you wanted. These are the two best teams Absolutely. all season long coming from very different perspectives. One looking to go back to back. And on the other hand, you had Purdue who was coming off one year after being bounced by uh, the 16 seed Fairleigh Dickinson in the first round of last year's tournament. Canadian Zach Eady in the big game taking on the defending champions. And we had a big matchup in the paint in this one. Eady against the UConn seven footer Donovan Klingon. All eyes were going to be on the paint in this matchup. The first time in 40 years that two seven-footers have faced off in the national title game. Just over five minutes in, Purdue down to Edie. Slams down the alley-oop over the UConn big man. Edie, the two-time player of the year, looking to become the sixth Canadian to win the men's NCAA title. Two minutes later, UConn up three. Edie backing down Klingon with the layup and under. Layup falls, and he gets the harm. Klingon allowed five post-up baskets all season. Edie had four in the first eight minutes alone. Under a minute to go in the first, UConn up four. Edie misses the block on Tristan Newton, and that allows Stefan Castle to tip it up and in. UConn led by six at the half. They've won 23 straight tournament games when they're up at the break. 12 minutes left in the second now. Huskies with an 11 point lead. Newton. Driving, hits a tough layup over Edie. UConn hasn't trailed in the second half of a tournament game since the second round last year. And then with seven minutes to go, UConn up 13. Samson Johnson to Alex Caravan for the slam. The Huskies pulling away. Edie taken out with under a minute to go in this game. He finished with 37 points in the final game of his college career. UConn has put a stamp on their greatness. For the second consecutive year, the UConn Huskies are the top dogs of college basketball. UConn becomes the first team to win back-to-back -back championships since the Florida Gators did it in 2007, this being their sixth national title. You know, obviously, you know, what could you say? We won by a lot again. To do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, two, uh, as, as, as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Um, to me, it is more impressive than what Florida and Duke did um, b because they brought back their entire teams, and you know, we, we uh, you know we lost <laughs> we lost some major players. So only two schools have more men's basketball titles than Connecticut. On top of that, all of UConn's championships have come since UCLA's last. And all the talk coming in was about the battle of the big men in the paint, Edie versus Klingon. And consider these numbers of interior play. The Huskies had 14 offensive rebounds, which is more than their season average of 10.2. And they outscored Purdue 44-40 to in the paint.